Oman. A sincerity absolute monarchy in the 21st century. Written words cannot express except a tiny part from what our mouth intends to reveal. The mouth cannot express except a tiny part from what our heart intends to reveal. The heart cannot express except a tiny part from what our brain intends to reveal. The brain cannot express except a tiny part from what our soul intends to unleash. Our soul remain the master of all, controlling everything to precisely express deep from our subconscious vitality. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said bin Taymur al Said. May his soul rest in peace. The Arab world's longest serving ruler for 50 years brought Oman from a complete darkness since July 1970, where the modern world had already witnessed advanced civilizations in the fields of science, education, technological advance, industrial revolution, and many other fields in the 21st century. Before 1970, Omanis, as one of the greatest ship builders in the world, took this privilege to export frankincense and make commercial deals with the world. A vast number of them started seeking for a better life outside Oman, where they risked to ride their own handmade wooden ships crossing the Arabian Sea to the Indian Ocean in the north up to China, where the port city of Gwadar in Balochistan, Pakistan, was an overseas possession of Oman for more than 170 years. To the Pacific Ocean in the south up to East Africa, where Oman possessed the islands of Zanzibar for 100 years and to the west, crossing the Atlantic Ocean to Europe, followed by the United States of America. In 1840, Oman became the first Arab country to open diplomatic relationship with the USA. On the internal policy, Omani citizens lived a dark life where the entire country had no secondary schools, only one hospital, and 10 kilometers of paved roads. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, may his soul rest in peace, has then transformed Oman into a modernized country and built strong political relationship with the entire Arabian Gulf states, Arab world, Middle East, and the entire world. I personally was born and spent most of my childhood in Africa, as our grandfather was among those Omani victims who could not tolerate the dark era of Oman. After 1970, my father told us the new Sultan of Oman was calling every single Omani citizen to return to their country and contribute to its renaissance and modernization. Oman, with its very limited income as the main GDP from oil production, that was just below 1 million barrels of oil per day, but with a great visionary and proper plan of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, may he so rest in peace, Oman today has achieved marvelous developments in all sectors. 
Finally, the contribution and leadership of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos. May his soul rest in peace. I personally proclaim as one of the most successful and exclusive advanced political systems that combine the best policies both from democracy and monarchy. What a marvelous country Oman, the oldest independent state in the Arab world. As on January 11, 2020, upon the death of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, may his soul rest in peace. His leadership legacy of the country's constitution that he left in the transfer of power. Personally, I believe the total time it took from the official announcement of the news of the death of the Sultan of the country to the nomination of his successor, His Majesty Sultan Haitham bin Tariq bin Taymur al Said, and finally to complete the funeral of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, may he rest in peace. As I personally watched live on air in just a few hours not only it added another touch to the sultanate of oman as one of the most monarchical countries enjoying exclusive democracy in the world in addition to being one of the most respected leaders and people adding what the sultanate of oman has achieved in the highest ranks of countries in the world that maintain close relations with all the countries of the world peace stability clean environment and an open mind society with multiple cultures our heart our love and full esteem is passed to his majesty sultan Haytham bin Tariq bin Taymur al Said for his historic speech that he will remain guided by the late Sultan's wisdoms going forward, will remain preserved on the embarkments and achievements that he made to follow in his footsteps with respect to the international relations that he will follow in the same course set out by the late Sultan that he will embrace foreign policy based on peaceful coexistence without any interference in the domestic affairs of other states these footsteps will secure the policy of the late Sultan in building peace stability to his people to the Gulf Cooperation Council countries, the Arab and Islamic world, the Middle East, and the entire world. May God have mercy on our father, Qabus. May his soul rest in peace in eternal life and accommodate him in his spacious gardens. And may God preserve Oman and its people under the leadership of His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq bin Taymur al-Sayyid.